Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to be doing an iron test. Now I did a chisel test recently, I'll leave a link to that down below. Uh, but I want to actually do the same thing but with plain irons because there is a large selection of replacement plain irons out there and everyone's wondering what's the best one. I have no idea. So we're going to experiment with that today. So let's uh, dive in and take a closer look at this. So we have a large list of irons here that we're going to be testing. Number one, we have the old-fashioned Stanley Sweetheart plane. They might be different size planes, but the way we're going to be testing it, that's not really going to be a problem. Then we also have the Hawk iron. We have an IBC iron. We have the Veritas PMV11. Uh, this is an old Sheffield iron, um, so it'll be kind of fun to test this. We'll be actually in a wood plane. Uh, we have the Tay Tools replacement, the Bench Dog. This is a Callistro, a rather cheap one, but it'll be interesting to see how that holds up. Uh, the new DFM Tools, uh, this is one I'm really looking forward to. This is his newest iron out. We have the Wood River, and then we have the Union. Now this isn't really designed as a replacement blade. It's designed for the new X-Plane that'll be coming out here very soon. Um, so it's not gonna stand up exactly, but it'll be interesting to compare them. Um, also, I'm hoping to have a Veritas in here, and there's one other that I might be getting. Um, so if there's anything you want to see in this list, let me know. Um, we'll get those um, in the test if possible. So uh, how are we going to go about testing these? I have my work sharp here, which I used for the chisel test. We're going to bring that back out for this. The nice thing about this is it gives me a standardized sharpening to make sure it's done the exact same way every time. Uh, this will be set up at 35 degrees. That is what I sharpen all my planes at. I may end up doing a test with a couple of them at different angles. Uh, that was kind of interesting with the chisel, but it would take a lot more time to get that data. So for right now, we're going to be doing them all at 35 degrees. Um, if you want to see other angles, let me know, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to be going through this on all four standard grits, and then we're going to be going over to the strop and stropping them off on that and trying to get them all exactly the way they need to be. So this is the best sharpness testing system. This is the best way I have found to actually test the sharpness of a blade and how keen is it. And the way this is set up is there's a very, very accurate scale on here. And in between these, there's a microfilament. Now that is a very accurately measured microfilament. So it's the same thickness, the same diameter. It'll take the same amount of pressure to break that every time. And when I put the iron on here, I'm gonna put it in the center of the blade on every one of them. And I'm gonna bring it down very, very slowly until the iron snaps. In this case, this one has not been sharpened, and so it's 536. That gives me an exact measurement. The lower that number, the sharper this iron. And I want to get it down around 100. That's where general plain iron sharpness is. 536, that's actually really dull, but it comes straight from the factory that way, so we're going to sharpen this up and get it to a better edge before we test it. So after we sharpen it up, we're going to test the edge and write it down. And then I have lignum vitae, and I have a decent amount of this so that we can run the plane on that. And we're going to do 20 strokes on this. We're going to take the plane iron out, keeping the chip breaker on. All testing will be done with the chip breaker. Chip breaker will be back about a sixteenth of an inch from the edge on all of them. That way we're not measuring the chip breaker, we're just measuring the edge. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to test it. And so I'll have 20 shavings and then a test, and then 20 shavings and then a test, and 20 shavings and then a test. And I'm assuming I'm going to be somewhere around 200 shavings before I get a, a rather dull number. But I may end up extending that out to more shavings, as the more shavings I create, the more accurate the measurement. But lignum vitae is one of the most, um, it's just a really punishing wood, high silica content, incredibly dense wood. It is on average the most dense wood in the world and it will be a great test for this to see how dull does this plain iron actually get. And so because all of these irons are slightly different thicknesses and different sizes, we're only going to be testing the very center of the blade, and that way I make sure the center of the blade goes down the board every time. So we're getting a nice clean measurement, that 20 strokes, and then we get this measurement, and 20 strokes, and then we get this measurement. So after 200 strokes, maybe more, and then after 10 individual tests, we will get a pretty good accurate chart of how dull did these get at what speed. 
And this will tell us how quickly do these irons dull, which is probably the most important information across all the irons. So the next question we have is how easy is the iron to sharpen? Because if you have a really hard iron that is resilient and it lasts forever, but it is incredibly difficult to sharpen, it might not be worth it. And vice versa, if you have one that sharpens really easily, but it dulls very quickly, that might not be worth it. So we're looking for the best of both worlds. So to find this out, we're going to be using the same sharpness tester. We're gonna sharpen it up and we're gonna test it. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to drag it across the iron. And then I'm gonna come back and test it again. And then I'm gonna drag it across the diamond plate one more time. And then I'm gonna test it again. And we're gonna do a full stroke from one to the other and that will give us a graph of how much material is being taken off of the very tip of this on the diamond plate. And that will let us know how easy is this to sharpen because the easier it is to sharpen, the quicker it will get dull which is kind of the opposite of uh, what we want on this. So this should be an overall test to see how quickly does the iron get dull, how easy is it to sharpen, and we should be able to see nice curves on it with lots of data. Uh, it's gonna take a good while to do, and it'll be interesting to go through all these irons and compare them. So if there is something that I'm missing here, I'd love to hear that. Um, I really do want to get this as an idea for you guys. So that's why I'm putting this out before I actually do the test, because I wanna get your feedback on what all's going into this. Um, before we actually jump in and get all this data because this is going to be very interesting. So there you have it. We've got lots of plane irons to test and I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes out. What do we learn from this? Is there different planes that are better in different circumstances and what can we do um, to make this a little more accurate? So um, there will be a video coming out soon once I get a chance to test all these. It's going to take me probably two or three days worth of work to test all these irons, maybe even more than that. Um, so this will be a rather in-depth test and when it comes out, um, we will be doing a whole video going through the data on this. I wanted to put this video out so that I can get some ideas from you guys. If you think there's something that I'm missing in this test, something I should include, or something maybe that might be a, a better data point, let me know that. I'd love to uh, see if we can make this even better. Also, if you are a member here on the channel or a patron on Patreon, um, I will be actually putting up the spreadsheet with all of the data on this so that you can see as the data comes in what is coming in and uh, get the early looks at it. So members and patrons will have the first look at all of the information on this. And if you're like me, data is happy. <laughs> So on that note, I do wanna say a huge thank you to the patrons and members. Uh, it does cost a good chunk of money in order to buy all of these irons. I'm not being given the irons so that I can uh, give it to one company or another. I'm actually purchasing these or they're ones that are actually out of my stock. So uh, this should be a completely unbiased test and have some good data on here. Thank you to the patrons for making that happen. I think that'll about do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. You know you're busy when you have a lot of irons in the scale.